everybody welcome back to my channel thanks for tuning in to this week's video um this week is super exciting because i am finally filming my room tour i have been wanting to film this for a while and today's the day still not completely done but you know what i just felt like filming it today so we're doing a quick little room tour this week and so yeah i hope you guys enjoy this video and if you do give it a thumbs up and if you haven't clicked that subscribe button already what are you waiting for click that subscribe button um wow i am so awkward today why also this week is super exciting because i hit 100 subscribers which i am so dang excited about and i'm glad you guys are liking the videos and enjoying this channel and yeah so i hope to continue growing and to have more of you guys subscribe and we could just all be internet buddies or maybe even real life buddies that is all i have to say um if you want to continue watching and see what this room is all about keep on watching Okay, so right now I am standing at my bedroom door. So when you walk in, this is basically what you see. So we will start on this first wall. So here is my door, little light switch. And then um, this is my mirror. I apologize for it being so dirty and gross. But anyways, this is pretty much where I get ready. I check out if my outfits are looking good. So on my walls, um, I have some art here. I'm kind of an art junkie. So the first art piece right here, that is a Monet. Um, it's a really beautiful uh, painting of a willow tree. And I really love that um, on the gray paint, the colors just really just like pop out. It's very, very nice. Then the one next to it, let me walk on over. The one next to it is a G Gustav Klimt. Gustav Klimt. It is called the Forest of Beech Trees right there. Do you see it? You see it? Probably not. Then on my floor right here, this is just a cute little like copper nightstand. I really want to put like a little um, like potted plant here to kind of fill up this area, but I haven't done that yet. But anyways, that table is from Target. And then right above in between these paintings here, this is a little shelf that me and my dad made. Um, it's a cute like little gray hexagon um, shelf. And then on the shelf is this candle that I obviously very much liked because I am almost done with it. Look how much is left. Literally nothing. But anyways, then I have some matches and then this like fake little plant thing. Anyways, so right here above my bed is a Jackson Pollock painting. I absolutely love Jackson Pollock. It, he really is one of my favorite artists. Um, and I just love every time I look at this painting, I see something different. And I just think that's really cool. Um, now, before I move on to the other side of my bed, this is my bed. But anyways, um, yeah, so this is from Urban. This throw blanket, I don't know where it's from. Maybe it's from Target. I got it for Christmas one year. Then I have my little elephant stuffed animal. Look how cute he is. Um, can't sleep without him. And then this weird pillow. I don't, what do you call these? I have no idea, but they're very helpful when you're trying to like do homework in bed. Anyways, also very, very soft and fluffy. And I got this at Bed Bath & Beyond. And then this is where I charge my phone. I really need to get a longer charger because I mean, how do I work with this? This is so freaking short. Then next to the Jackson Pollock painting is this bouquet of dried roses. Look how pretty they are. And then the little ribbon, ugh, so cute. And I think they look really nice with the gray and the painting and the show. I think it's just so aesthetically pleasing, don't you? So, moving on to my little desk on the other side of my uh, bed. This desk and lamp um, are both from Target. Um, I love this like kind of marble finish and it has like a little bit of like metal chrome I don't you know gold I don't know what this is but I'm really liking it and I really love this like vintage looking light bulb here let me turn it on Ooh, wow wow that is wow I was like wow that's like German anyways what's also on my table is my phone let's just admire this phone case really quick isn't it so freaking cute literally I absolutely love this phone case. Anyways, I got this from Etsy. Um, I will include a link down below if you guys want to buy it. It's I love it. It's so cute. Look how cute that is. 
Anyways, let's put that down. Let's stop talking about my phone case. This is a book. Um, this is a book. <laughs> Obviously, it's a book, Hannah. I honestly bought it. I'm going to be honest with you. I bought this because the cover is so pretty. I mean, come on. Like, it's like really shiny gold and pinks, and I was just really feeling it. But anyways, hopefully one day I can sit down and actually read it. Okay, under this is my little planner, um, also from Target. I can just, honestly, I should be like a Target spokesperson. Like, literally my room is Target. But anyways, this is my planner from Target. Um, I just, you know, plan out my day and try to stay organized as much as possible. Okay, let's put that back. Now, in my drawer, very um, not interesting at all. There's like nothing in here. But anyways, have a little ibuprofen, um pill bottle thing then I have a pen for my cute little journal and then some hair ties if I feel like pulling up my hair and then this is just a hand sanitizer spray it smells like citrus and it's very nice I'm kind of obsessed with hand sanitizer and I kind of always just need to have one nearby that is kind of my bed area moving on are these very nice windows that pretty much look out right to my street so there you go. And then all these pillows are from Target. So my favorite pillow on here is, I, I can't tell you why I have a B pillow. I really can't. But I saw it in Target and I just fell in love with it. Like, I don't know why I love this pillow so much, but it's so cute. And then behind it is this like gray furry um, pillow that I've had for a very, very long time. But I also really like that one, so pillows on that side and then on this side is just this circular pillow um, it has a little bit of yellow in it so it kind of goes with the bees over there and then I have a little flower pillow so this is my desk area first this chair is from my dining room I have no idea where my mom got it but I stole this chair from my dining room because the chair that I had there previously was just like this gross like pale yellow stained scratched up chair it was just very old and it just was not cute um but anyways i grabbed this from my dining room because i felt like it fit my aesthetic much better than the pale yellow hopefully i will be getting my own chair very soon then underneath is my hamper nothing too special so now moving on to my actual desk i keep my laptop here and then this cute little plate that says hello gorgeous oh good job hannah that says hello gorgeous i kind of put just random stuff so this is just some peppermint essential oil and then my fitbit its charger and then another hair tie then next to my little plate of random stuff this is just a little um jewelry box that i keep just like obviously jewelry then this right here is another painting that I got while I was in Dresden, um, Germany. Anyways, here is this cute little um, angel that my parents got me when I got baptized. Then this little glass cylinder is just like filled with highlighters, pens, pencils, scissors, all my writing utensils. And then next to that is this really cute um, painting that I got when I was in Prague. I'm moving on next to that is my bin of stuff. I should really clean this out, but that won't happen today. So now moving on to my bookshelf. Um, here are some terraniums that I have. There used to be a real succulent in here, but unfortunately it died. So I put my little uh, corsage from senior year prom um, in here. So I thought that was kind of pretty. Then this is my little my little succulent that's growing quite nicely. Then next to it, um, if you guys didn't know, I have a very unhealthy obsession with elephants. So this elephant Paul gave me when he went to Italy. It's made out of marble. Look how cute it is. It's so cute. And unfortunately, I got some blue paint on it when I was crafting a little bit. So um, ignore the blue paint. It's still super cute. So, um, this elephant we made at Color Me Mine on Valentine's Day, and the ring on its trunk is this little ring that Paul and I got um, at Sadie Hawkins our senior year, and um, we got like fake hitched. So, it's just this little thing made out of tin foil, but just a cute little memory that we have. Next to it is this little music box that Paul also got uh, me when he was in Italy, and then 
below that is this Tiffany box. Um, he gave me a Tiffany bracelet our first Christmas together. So, go Paul for setting the bar high. Um, and then, why do I have a gum wrapper on here? No, it is not trash. It is a cute note from my boyfriend. Look how cute that is. Okay, so, um, behind here is my passport, and then also, behind here, our, <laughs> our picture is... Oh no, that's not the last one. And here we go. There he is. Look how cute he is. He's so cute. And just so awkward. Like, look, he hates taking pictures. So he, like, does not smile. Look at him. Like, why is he so serious? But this one, this one's the best. He's just like, ugh, why am I doing this? <laughs> that's why I keep these, because they're just so, just, like, awkward and funny. And I just love them. Okay, so this is a little uh, Disney pin that we got um, for our second anniversary. There's a little picture of Paul um, when he played football. Look how hot he is. Dang. So then I have some books here. I have some Bibles. I have um, some Jodi Picoult books, The Case for Christ and The Kite Runner. So there's some books there. And then on top of that is some more Jodi Picoult books, 13 Reasons Why. Okay, disclaimer. I read 13 Reasons Why before it was even a show, so what's up? Um, Jody Picot books, Divergent, and then I think an AP Style Guide. Yes, you know you're a journalism student when you have an AP Style Guide. Anyways, um, and then that is a little elephant puzzle that Paul made me in Woodshop our senior year. And then here's another elephant. She has more elephants? Yes, I do. This is from Kosovo, so love that. And then this is a little candle, and then a rad, not sad, sign. Someone's calling me. Oh, Paul. Hello? What's up? Hey, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, oh, you're coming? Okay, cool. Sorry, I'm filming a room tour. Uh, yeah, that's why I wasn't answering. I'm sorry, I didn't even notice you were texting. No, yeah, 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 I'm almost done. Okay. Okay. All right, I'll see you soon. Bye. All right, love you. Love you. Bye. <gasps> we better hurry this up because Paul's going to be here in two minutes. Ah! Okay, so moving on to my dresser area. This is another Gustav Klimt painting. And then this is a little sign that my roommate gave to me. She was about to throw it away. And like, why would you want to throw that away? Keeping it real, folks. Okay, so next to that is my French lavender um, candle that I just started lighting up, and it is lighting it up. God, I'm so annoying. Another little succulent. Um, this little guy is growing like a madman. I am loving it. Then next to that are some dried roses that Paul gave me, and then a picture of us. How cute. I really need to update this picture. This is from grad night senior year, and we are just little babies there. We need to update that. But anywho, that door is to my bathroom, so that's not interesting. And those doors are to my closet, which is a mess right now, so I'm not showing you that either. <laughs> okay, so now we're at the um, end of my room tour. How exciting. So. This video is kind of a mess, and I apologize. Um, but yeah, so that's basically my room tour, and Paul just got here. Hannah is doing well. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up, and I will see you next week in my new video. Okay, bye!